Right, antenna wire. So very few companies actually make antenna wire for antennas, all right? By the way, the DX10 is back in stock. Let's take this through. So antenna wire, aha. This is the only antenna wire I know which was made and designed literally for antennas. Most other wire, the reel I've just brought through, has been tested and works, happens to work very well as an antenna, but that's the only one I know that was literally designed from the ground up for the military. I mean, it would be, wouldn't it? It's not for hand radio. However, the history of this stuff, this is called DX10, is quite interesting. Now, we use this for SO239, so that's a bit spare, isn't it, Lucky? Uh, let's cut a bit off. Let's just assemble, disassemble the two of these and I'll show you what I mean. So this is um, 24 strands of 0.2 millimeter copper wire. What has the memory very often is the sheath. The P this is a PVC. Now this so happens to be good for minus 40. Minus 40 centigrade is apparently the same as minus 40 Fahrenheit. And if this stuff, DX10, doesn't tangle, right? You do that with a bunch of radials. Ask Mike, Mike K8MRD. He'll back me up. In fact, most people with... If you've had some DX10 and you're watching this, make a comment below. Tell me what you think of this wire. We'll get into this stuff in a minute, but the history behind this wire was it was originally made as a, as a two-pair, right, twisted together, and it was designed for the military, but not as an antenna wire. It was designed actually for demolition. So if they've, they, they're blow, about to blow a bridge, you know, and the guy runs away with the reel of wire, doesn't want this to snap and kink and that sort of thing. So I think it's why they designed this really nice, flexible PVC. Anyway, they sent me a sample. I got samples of wire from everybody. And uh, we really liked this. Tested it out to... There's a video somewhere of me doing 1600 watts on that. Right, so that's DX10. Very nice. What does it retail for? Can you remember the price? 39. 39 pounds. Probably about to go up. So get your order in now. By the way, everything's in stock right now, apart from an 18 meter nebula, which is currently on a ship somewhere on the Suez Canal. Let's cut a bit of this. This was a nine meter. No use to that man or beast. If it was 10 or 12 meters, we could kind of do something with it, but nine meters, it was just the end of a reel. We'll just cut a bit off and I'll get Lock ask Loggy to come close and we can have a look at this. So, so far so good. So that is, it almost looks like coax. And this is the Kevlar core underneath. So it's sold as well and everything else. If you if you wanted to join that, of course, you can't really just solder the two together because Kevlar will then be broken. So you'd have to like do a loop with a, I don't know, it's not really to be joined. But I got the factory, I said, well, what's the breaking strain on this? They said, well, they, they put 135 kilogram weight, which is more than I weigh, right? and um it, it and it worked so somewhere between 135 and i don't know 150 but eventually all these threads of um kevlar would i suppose would snap in the end to join this stuff though if you wanted to join you know regular black wire i'll show you how i do it and in fact i don't even use in the field even for permanent joins, I don't even use solder. I'll show you what I do. I just prepare the two ends. Yes, I cut myself this morning. It's my fault. Um, and this is a, we're called a wireman's joint. I, I can't remember. It might have been AT&T. Somebody actually documented it. But this is all I do. And if you measured that with a, an ohm meter, there'd be next to nothing in it. But in the field, I don't even solder it. I normally just put a bit of tape on it. But if you've got some um, 
heat shrink, glue lines marine heat shrink over that. Then the oxygen can't get to it. If the oxygen can't get to it, that means that that can't corrode because there's no water or oxygen. How strong is it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's genuinely very. Oh, I've got it there in the end. So it will come apart in the end. With a bit of solder that would have held together better, wouldn't it? So there we are, antenna wire. Most wire works, okay? You don't have to buy antenna wire. Most wire definitely works. But um, if, if you want the real McCoy the sort of stuff the military use, then I'm afraid you're into something like this. It's over a pound a metre, I think. 125 or something. And then DX10, it's just magic, lucky wire that I found and uh, had the factory instead of twisting it together they make single strands and put it on this reel for us all right that's it from Callum today all the best guys i will see you next time bye for now